gonna drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Nothing can break me. And I'm late. Oh my gosh. Okay. I've got a new setup. I've got a new setup. I've got a new office. And uh, clearly nothing's behind me yet. Kind of a, a boring landscape just yet. But I will be triumphant. I will, I will get it uh, together. So let me grab some things. I'm going to be working on an iPad today. Which is what you're looking at right now. This is a pretty cute little poodle. Um, I've been doing a set of cards for a card game. Not my card game. Totally different card game for a dude who I know. And uh, he hired me to do a bunch of dogs. They are dogs. Excuse me. So I'm going to look up a thing real quick for channel points. Because sometimes people redeem channel points and I don't want to miss the reward queue. Here we are. Hooray! Okay, so I also... Uh, that's all right. I was actually out and about, JM. Uh, but thanks for remembering now. I thought about it. I'm like, okay, it's probably his time, not my time. So... <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll, we will get the call on after stream. How are you? Let me show some of the dogs I've been drawing, guys. These aren't all mine. Um, a lot of these are. He's my favorite dog. This guy right here. Come on now. This guy. Come on. I want this guy as a pet. There's a hair on my screen. You can't see that. Um, but, let's see. Uh, this guy. Oh, I think my screen froze. Can you not see it moving? I wonder why it's doing that. Riding jackals. Eh, you're always writing. That's awesome. <clears throat> Dude, must feel good to do what you love for a living. Oh, I do too. How's my audio? Is my mic overdriven? Because I'm kind of far away from it. Um, this 5K player should be going but it's not moving uh, it's not 
<laughs> no, you are the meaning. Um, cannot, so you can see my cursor right there, but it's not connected. I just want this to work. This is literally the first time I tried this. Why can't it work? <sighs> it's okay. Where's my mirroring? There's this cool thing called mirroring. I don't know if you know it, but <laughs> it's actually supposed to be working. Currently it sucks. Um, hey, thanks. This, yeah, I tossed this together because I changed computers and holy crap. It all came down crashing around my ears. I lost everything. Um, so, you know, being being a little bit more uh, agile, I guess. Okay. Now playing to that. Come on now. Still not working. Let's close that. Um, 5k player I feel like a brand new streamer trying something like brand new it's okay this is part of the uh, experience now playing or not playing not playing weird it's now thinking be great if I get this to work otherwise I'm gonna go back and work on my on this thing I have this 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 thing I don't know it's kind of a this room is a little bit uh, white and stark right now yeah so doing this doing this is fun content watching this fall on its face Come on, 5K player. Oops, I just streamed this right now. I think I'm streaming my iPad to the living room. So if somebody's in there, they could be checking out the uh, the stream, or at least just this part of the stream. Um. Five K player, baby. No, not working. This is some new music. Been been doing a little bit more um, epidemic sound music than I did that I have been because they have decent streaming. They're just different. I got so tired of listening to all the hip hop, uh, uh, lo-fi hip hop that every other playlist has. Wow, this that's what it is. I think I locked up my computer with it. Check it out, Task Manager. When I go into Task Manager, do you guys just see nothing? Let's try this again. 5K. It's called 5K Player. And it's free. Don't make me regret free. Know what I mean? 5k player come on airplay airplay service on this definitely worked a minute ago did you see me doing it earlier well, let's open Photoshop, go back to the old standby. I really like drawing on my iPad lately, and I thought I would be able to just keep it that going. Evidently not, because this program sucks. The Dark Knight of the Soul. Mm -hmm. Yes. The darkest night. 
but why can't it work, guys? One more try. Samsung 7 Series. That's the TV in the front room. We don't want to be doing that. I've been editing some stuff uh, <clears throat> for Garrett because he's modding some stuff for Darkest Dungeon. Airplay code? Wait, what? No, don't do that. <laughs> uh, he's been modding some stuff for Darkest Dungeon, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, is Maddie? Maddie's sending me pictures of her rats. Alright, closing the offending software because it sucks. And we're going to switch to a different scene, which is... Boom. Check them out. That's, uh, this is the character that we're making for Darkest Dungeon. And you know this game, JM. Uh, kind of fun. It's, it's been kind of fun working on it so far. We're just in the, in the infancy of infancy stages of working on him just throw this iPad across the room yeah exactly how did you know how did you know have you been talking about it I kind of crapped together the the background just so I could get like the basic feel of it and everything um, <laughs> your rats are not good your rats are the best look at okay here we go you guys this is high tech right here watch analog it's 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 Maddie with a rat. My ring light totally like reflects all over it. See how cute? Sending me pictures of the rat. Ah, May, Maddie, Maddie, I miss you. Told you you could bring your rats here. <laughs> JM says, "Hey, Maddie." <laughs> I don't know if you can see the. <laughs> my my mind to your mind. That's terrifying, actually. Um, okay, so that's that's the alchemist. Yes, hey, that's my that's my wife. She needed a headshot edited, so I'm like, okay, fine. Let's open. Oh, the biggest file ever. This is gonna be so bad. Maddie, what are you up to? I miss you. I feel like it's been like days since I've seen you. The lighting in here, uh, curse sucks. I need something to light from this side. Because this little ring light is adorable, but it's not getting the job done. Wait, you can't tell anybody I'm your dad. Seems way less cool. People just think you're an adoring fan. <clears throat> can't get my iPad to mirror to, uh... Oh, you know what? Here, guys, I can show you. I'm going to send this to myself while I'm waiting for this to load. So I have to draw all these cards of dogs. And uh, I've been enjoying drawing all these dogs. Dog, dog, dog. Oh, oh it, this is very high tech while it's loading. It's a pug, okay? Um, procrastinating do my final projects. Oh, it's finals. That sucks. But I get it. Um... I'm going to move this stuff over to my... Uh, see, this sucks. I shouldn't have to share this to my screen. Check out all of these cards, guys. Um, I'm not entirely sure... Oops. Let's send it to Google Drive, guys. Export unsuccessful. Eh. I can send it to my Discord. Let's see if I can send it to my cell. Unable to share. Yes! That's what I like to see. What the heck is going on? Um. <laughs> why the lighting, my lighting making you sad? It is kind of sad. I uh, thought about trying to like add effects to it and such. <gasps> I think I can actually. Now this just turned into a. Um, whoops. Video editing. Watch this. Oh, really? How did I 
to go. Is it the plate that I saw? saying that we can see all see that. We also have all of the effects, color. Let's bring up the brightness. Artificially bringing up brightness is kind of creepy. Essentially putting a light on this side of my face will be helpful. I mean, it's 1920 by 1080, so it's like, oh no, it's so here we go. I wonder if this can pick up a little bit better color. Nope. seen several more of the friend people on my friends list uh, jumping into that game and I'm like oh my gosh it's such an enormous game All right, let's see. and it off centers it so if I lean and draw this is content content watch me move this stuff I don't particularly want to see my window. I think that if I got some blackout curtains in here, um, you can't hear, wait, your music is over the voice audio. Thank you. How about that? I turned down the music slightly and I turned up the voice more. This is good to know. Grandpa ears, <clears throat> grandpa ears indeed. Um, okay, so <sighs> these are my dogs. These are my dogs, and I've got them all named. Um, kind of trying to go for like a prohibition era theme for these guys in this dog game dogs that race. So, yeah, this is Grace, um, De Paolo. I named them all. Um, and uh, yeah, this guy, he's actually got the checkered scarf like he. Like he's an actual racer. Um, Chief, this is the one that I'm working on like the running pose for, but for the life of me, I can't get them to uh, come out of my iPad worth a dang. Um, that's Raul. He is one of my favorites. I think the Bulldog's probably my most favoritist. Um, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send it to myself by email. Let's send it to that one, Quoth the Raven. Export successful. So are the grandpa ears working now? I've given you enough time to <clears throat> assess how loud my voice is. And it looks like it's going off the charts. If I look at the, this thing, watch when I'm talking down here in the lower right, it's like I'm in the yellow all the time. <clears throat> so yeah. <clears throat> and that's why I didn't like, I tried to back out. It sounds better. Cool. Good. What would make it perfect? JM, what would make it perfect? Let's get my email, guys. Let's get my email. You can watch me get my email. <sighs> Untitled artwork, baby. That's what I like to see. 
don't bother naming anything, kids. When you get to the place where you're professional like me, you won't you won't label shit. It's not a good practice. Or don't name anything with like final in the name. I'm not going to keep that file open. All right, let's draw a poodle. Uh, yeah. Oh, you sent me pictures of plates. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh. Look at these rats. This rat. Beep. Beep. Crawling out of her sleeve. Yeah, that's normal. Um, <clears throat> totally normal. Where's your plates? Whoa, yeah, that looks cool. I want to see the prints from it. I would show you this, but I don't think you can, like, tell what's going on there. But she looks tough. She look tough. I draw boots like that sometimes, too, where they're, like, <clears throat> where you have, like, uh, Oh, wow. Gonna have to get used to uh, drawing on this thing. Where When you draw a boot, they're like all, whoa. What they're not like is that. Give me this. Where the tops are, like here's the tongue, and the tops are more puffy, and then the toe is like, brown, brown. Yeah. I used to draw boots like that all the time. And so like from the front, they're just like this big stompy bit. Um, I love that. I was drawing with a gross, gross, gross pink. But I love you, Maddie. Go do awesome things while I try and figure out what the heck I'm doing <clears throat> with this. Auto scroll, zoom, zoom, zoom. So what I do is set this pen up a little better. Welcome desktop center, go. Pen settings, <clears throat> it's the content guys. This is what you show up for. Yeah, that's more like it. It's just so much different. Um, I've done all of the other cards on, you know, all the other art for the cards really on the iPad, and I wanted to stick with that. But I also wanted to draw a little bit on here, or on uh, the, you know, I edit the rest of them. You know, like all those cards I showed you, were all edited in here, but created in the in the iPad. This dog, Chief, she has like the like this. It looks kind of like a Scotland Yard apron or whatever these things are that they put on. It's her uniform, okay. And it's not Scotland Yard because this would be like Prohibition era U.S. But there is a card where <clears throat> you move your dog to first place in the race. And this would be the card where, where she's like, yeah, I'm winning or whatever. So I don't really know the rules. I saw a video of it at one point. Switch up my so I've got a real with this mm, <clears throat> project I've been sticking to a real thick to thin aesthetic because I kind of wanted it to feel a little bit like a woodcut. Um, <laughs> he loves the sleeve, Maddie. He just want to be by you. Wait, what's which one was that? Which rat was that? There's Tubby. There's shoot. The heck was the name of the other one? Uh, <laughs> I can't remember your stupid rat's names. It's okay. They don't remember mine either. And I'm totally stylizing these eyes to be a little bit more like squinty. 
and having fun. When you really get excited, your eyes squint upwards, um, as well as, you know, down from the top, which is kind of like the way that people typically think of a squint. But they kind of push upwards. Your eye, uh, uh, the bags under your eyes, a smile. They, a smile. I bought a set of uh, Bluetooth headphones. I was very excited because these things are falling apart, even though they're quite good. I just heard my door open. Hello? Or maybe not. Maybe it's the bathroom next door. Uh, this is nutritious. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. Um, the heck was I talking about? My headphones. My headphones. So these things I have have been good workhorses for uh, I don't know how long. Over a year. But they're starting to literally fall apart. Like I wear them and then when I take them off, they're leaving like pieces of foam all over in my hair. And this padding stuff on in, in my ear. That's fun. So I ordered these Bluetooth uh, headphones because I want to be able to like, you know, move around and get up and grab something. And they come and there's no, they're, they're not wireless. They're not wireless at all. They're full on wired guys. The wiredness of these headphones is off the charts. So... I check and I did order the proper things. Thank God they like plan they they gave me my money back like right away. They must have seen their the error of their ways. Cause so I was ready to take them to court. The court of there's no court. There's it's Amazon. People return stuff all the time. <coughs> so clearly I'm just kidding. But I was a little irritated because my whole setup is changing. And it would have been nice to be able to add that variable in. Got <clears throat> new camera, new placement for the mic. Oh, I hate drawing the open mouth of a dog because it's hard to not make it look terrifying. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I should actually, I'm on the wrong stream. Oh, sorry, I'm missing the, I'm multi-streaming, so I'm missing comments. I totally didn't switch to it in time. Well, love you guys. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hopefully my headphones come in the next couple days. We live right next to a Amazon distribution center. So usually stuff winds up getting here way quicker than what they typically project. So here's hoping. Got a new keyboard for my birthday. Garrett specked it out and I pretty much just love it it's a Rocat Vulcan here check this out you know it's a good keyboard because it lights up and if I push buttons I made it so it do you even see that yeah see that it changes 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 the more I stamp on buttons so that's important <clears throat> very important to what I do all the best illustrators have lights on their keyboards. <clears throat> I feel like, you know, drawing buttons, the temptation is to draw the entire button. It doesn't need to be done. <clears throat> Let's... Let's rotate. I'm back to trying to use the that little little action center on the side of my tablet. Gosh, I couldn't find the words. Stayed up way too way too late last night playing Apex Legends with my nephew. Very irresponsible. You know what's irresponsible? The smoothing that I have put on this. Stop that. There's a thing called smoothing. And uh, it helps you draw really smooth lines. Kind of like back in the day you would use like a... Whoa, hey. <clears throat> you would use like a, a French curve or whatever to get really smooth lines. And uh, like watch. If I turn the smoothing up... 
<clears throat> I can't draw like a very sharp line, a, a sharp corner. Like it makes me draw in large, smooth lines. Uh, so it, I don't think it's cheating because you still have to make the lines. So it's like really useful for certain things. Uh, I don't really use it that much unless it's unless it's very evident that the line quality will be ruined uh, if I don't of the piece. So when I'm doing, I just turned it down and it just jumped back up. Uh oh. I turned the flow down like a dummy. <clears throat> There we go. There are all these um, parameters to a, 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 a brush in Photoshop that you can change, like how the ink comes out and what direction it comes out and how much you're tilting your hand affects it and stuff. And most of them ignored. <clears throat> I just choose an actual brush that takes that out onto account to begin with. So irritated by my iPad. It worked for a little while. I was testing and I was just drawing. I was drawing this dog. I'm like, yay, it's time to go live. <clears throat> what could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? This one, I, the portraits of the dogs that I had are a little bit more zoomed in. <clears throat> this one's going to be quite zoomed out so I can skimp on some of the detail a little bit. The takeaway is the dog is running. this tremendous headache and I don't know why I drank some diet coke though so it's possible it's that to shade the inside of this mouth because if I do it realistically you ever look at the inside of your own mouth or a dog's mouth it's kind of bone like and freaky and I don't know, it just doesn't look good it doesn't yeah I need this to stay a little bit on the cute side of things nobody wants to be freaked out playing a card game about dogs Been a while since I've talked about line quality and how you don't have to have great line quality you just have to give good ra line rationale um, if you have wobbly hand like I do and you can't keep a straight or a, a nice smooth line without using smoothing just run with it just embrace it we've said it before I think there was a I think it was a TED talk where they said embrace the shake make it part of your thing so I have made it part of my thing, part of my style. It's not a bug, it's a feature, damn it. In other news, uh, I'm vaccinated, that's fun, 100%. Really, it was just the one shot thing, so it was quite easy to do. So I got my microchip. And Bill Gates can check on me whenever he wants now. Because I, I avoided that earlier, the Bill Gates thing. You know, he couldn't watch me because I had a Steve Jobs product. Now that I have the Johnson product, psh, 
Now he can watch me. So he invented that to spy on me. I don't know if you knew that. Hey, this is just as viable as the other conspiracy theories. <laughs> Different background indeed. This is a new room that I haven't decorated at all yet. So like there's hardware down in that corner right there. There's an empty corner where my shelf, it's just, it's a vacuous white space. How are you? You missed the part where I struggled with my iPad to get it to work, even though it was working perfectly earlier. So I switched over to this again. The old standby, the what, seven year old drawing tablet? Buying graphic design gear um, when you're an illustrator is kind of like drowning. You're, you're like, you just get to the place where you're treading water by picking up a, uh, a graphics tablet like this, like I did seven years ago. I spent a lot of money on it. It cost more than my car at the time. And uh, I'm like, sweet, you know, I'll never have to buy another one of these. And so then you get to the place where you're like, man, I should probably buy another one because it's starting to get scratched up. It's starting to have some weird lag and some weird parallax. And you realize you need a new actual computer. <laughs> and what good is a drawing tablet without an actual computer? So that's what you wind up spending your money on. You wind up just drowning in uh, tech necessity for the rest of your career. So it's been like seven years, yeah. Seven or so. Um, chilling. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I'm excited to be on. Uh, now that I've got a little bit slimmer of a setup, I don't have to worry quite so much. I don't have a complex camera because of the diminishing returns. Even though I'm saying that now in my... If I move this slightly to this side, boop. Nope. Now you're going to spend the rest of the time uh, adjusting my, my cam. It's content, okay? Content. I know that we need to talk at some point about your art as well. I uh, was looking through it again about your desires and the specs you give me. There is one part where it is a... Like a... What do you call it? Portrait? How accurate must the portrait be um, because you actually sent me a photograph and I like the pose and everything but like I don't know how much of your facial hair you want me to capture or not capture because you know a photo can be detailed and I don't know that that a lot of the detail is going to be caught on a on screen also we need to talk about what you want to use that for is it a splash screen? Is it, you know, are you writing a book? Why is my pen not tracking? You wouldn't believe how odd this pen looks right now to me. <clears throat> Come on, Wacom, desktop center. Don't need to be too accurate. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then there's the the new the new venture you're striking out on, which I think is awesome. Which I'm not saying anything about because I don't know how much I'm allowed to say. So we'll just chill on that. I just tried to look up my Wacom Desktop Center, and it said waxing, waxing. I don't know why you would do that. Let's fix my stupid frickin' pen. Pen setting. This is why I need a new frickin' tablet, because when I'm, I'm calibrating this thing so that it looks correct when I'm drawing on it at a certain angle, because there's a thick piece of glass between this and the thing I'm drawing on. So if you look at a certain way, it looks like there's a giant gap in between where my pencil is drawing, my my stylus, and where uh, you know where the line is actually being made. So it becomes actually rather difficult to predict, and it drives me crazy. It's not fixed. It's not doing better. One more try. 
and I'm just going to run with it. Photoshop, calibrate, calibrate, boop, 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 boop. Okay, hit OK. Uh, it's a little better. Need to set up a new goal. A new goal to get a... Yeah. The venture you're talking about is practically ready to go. Just waiting a bit. Okay. Being patient. Hashtag not sponsored. Patience is good. I don't know why you need me in such venture. Um, but I appreciate being being tapped for it. Fuzzy leg. Fuzzy leg. That's what they called me in prison. This silly dog. I don't like, I like the big poodles in the real world, not necessarily in, uh, in this game. I like big poodles that don't have weird shaped, uh, hair. I don't know, the big poofy stupid things. Because they just look like big fuzzy cool doggos. But if you get them all weird and groomed and puff balls all over the place, then I'm like, Ugh. how can the dog even be okay with that? I mean, you look ridiculous. They have to have some sense of what they look like, right? I know if you uh, give a dog a haircut, you know, for a little while afterwards, sometimes they can be really self-conscious, which is kind of great. We raised dogs for years on the farm. Um, Great Pyrenees. So they're these gigantic, they look like uh, St. Bernard's, but they're white. They're just enormous. And it was so much fun. Um, also raised Springer Spaniels, hunting dogs. But dogs can be uh, self-conscious, especially if you kind of laugh at them. They know, you know, if you cut their hair wrong and they walk out and you were like laughing, they can pick up on that. Uh, oddly specific, only because I've seen it happen. Um, I did not laugh at my dog, but there was some laughing. Going to have to thicken up all of these outlines. The dog has to look happy happy they're in first place do this little symbol excuse me I need new glasses. I literally just got these glasses. The problem is, is they're bifocals. What I need is something I can just put on when I'm drawing, rather than having this like multiple focus thing. Because I gotta be going like this sometimes, and depending on how far I back out. I'm such a boomer. Do, do, do. Okay, let's do some colorization. Give me a white background. Doink, doink. I'll come back and thicken up the outline, I think, later. But I do need to sample. Oh my gosh, I forgot to save this. First place. Poodle. I'm just going to write her actual name, Chief. 
And best in show and cards. Blam. Okay. Let us find. I need to keep the same color scheme. So if I don't actually sample Chief, let me throw her on here. This is her actual card. Whoa, she's all huge. Okay. So now I can sample the blues and stuff. She's so happy. a sloppy selection. Also my chair sucks. Someday I will have the office I really would like. I'm just glad I can do what I want to do, but sometimes the office could be better. Let's get this hat. thing about let's see that's a very dark blue okay I know I didn't use black here the color picker wound up on the other side of the world The base color of our poodle buddy is about yay. It's not the lightest color of the poodle and it's not the darkest color, so. It's a good place to start. It's called a mid-tone. I was really excited about doing this on an iPad. some pencil lines behind but you know what's gonna be so dinky who cares for my cards my uh, deck of cards I found I think I found the vendor one step closer to printing these stupid things I really have been scouring trying to find somebody who can actually do some of the trickier stuff that I want to see embossing and whatnot 
some good stock, not just crappy run-of-the-mill stuff. And they're actually coming in a little cheaper than I thought they would, which is shocking to me and very exciting because I want this thing to fund and just, you know, pumping up the quality so much that it's going to be impossible to get enough people is a little bit sad. <laughs> the uh, printer said that they like the work and that they're going to they're going to tweet about it and promote it to their their group of, you know, old, uh, customers and whatnot. So, hey, that's good. Maybe they tell that to all the girls. But, yeah, I'm uh, unannounced disappearance. Hey, you don't have to announce your disappearances to me. Not at all. Um, yeah, JM, one step closer. Getting this thing out of my hair so I can move on to the next thing, which will be the comic. Long as, long as it holds our interest, right? Uh, even if it's just like one issue, and I move on to the next thing, I got to think about legacy. I got to think about what the heck I'm gonna leave behind. You get to a certain age, and you're like, okay, I could keel over at any second, and how quickly am I gonna be forgotten? Whereas if I can leave something kind of heirloom quality behind. So yeah, that's why I'm working on disparate projects like this. Like uh, I did my children's book, got that out of my system. I think I'm gonna wind up reprinting it in hardcover so that I can actually give it to libraries and libraries will, I mean, they want it, but it, it just gets wrecked in no time being soft cover. It's a children's book. Lord knows I'm not doing it to make money. So spending money on a book I've already created to uh, make it a hardcover. <laughs> what I need is a wealthy benefactor. People say that all the time in the art world. <laughs> <clears throat> it's because people used to, yeah. Yes, we're talking about my cards. Mine. Watch. This is the new card back, guys. Can we see that? Yeah, we can see that. Yeah, I think this is going to be the card back I'm going with. And whether or not I print it in white or if I print it in the same color ink but it's shiny, I'm not sure yet. Thanks. <laughs> I want to be your... If Can you be my wealthy benefactor? I hadn't thought of that. I will give you time. I will wait. I'm saving myself for Marlton. Um, yeah, so that's, I think, going to be the new, like, aesthetic for all that. I've got the... There's a half brick box that holds six decks. <clears throat> and this is the flattened version of it. So if you can imagine... This is the the top of the box, you know, it folds down over it. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know, the name of the deck's gonna be Dark Patina. So I think this is the final go, but yeah. Um, one for, yeah. Um, dude, that would be awesome. Seeing as I'm gonna be able to seal each one of them, I'm gonna print a thousand cards and they're all going to be sealed with uh, a numbered seal. So it, it kind of does lend itself to, well, you know, the 87th one was never opened, but I have the 88th one and I play it or whatever. Oops, just bonked the mic. And I play with that one or whatever. But yeah, I appreciate that. The enthusiasm helps me. Helps me. Let's do some shading. Let's do some... This adorable color. This what is this pink? Pink. Do, 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 do. These dogs have the weirdest color on the side of their mouth. It's just kind of they have a pink and then they have this blue. So I'm just gonna draw a pink line for now and we'll sort that out. That blue line out. Or it's black, but whatever feels blue to me all right um i'm glad 
you know the person. No, I know you. Um, no, I'm. Yeah, thank you, man. The 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 excitement is is infectious. It's contagious. I'm just one step closer. I'd like to kick this out before Amy has surgery next month, so that I can just promote it while she's recovering and and uh, you know I don't have to worry about it. I'm, she's gonna need my help for a while. I'm no stranger to that. Uh, it helps if I deselect the thing. Yeah, they have this weird rim around their mouth that's kind of black. Blue. Black and blue. Blackish blue. You missed Maddie, Marlin Marlton. She was here earlier. We we're sharing pictures of her rats, her dumb rats. They're amazing. She's cute. Here we go. I show you a picture. Through the, the power of analog, I show you my phone. That's Maddie with her rat coming out of her sleeve. Yeah. Um, eventually, I do want to commission some art pieces for my Shadowrun series. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I love Shadowrun. I love the feel. JM, who's in chat right now, um, <clears throat> ran a game for me once, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Even though we never finished it. But that seems like the way it is for like every Shadowrun. Or every every game role-playing that we've done. Just It never finishes. I've ran one recently and, you know, I had a nervous breakdown and I didn't finish the thing. So, <laughs> I know what it's like. It's just a ton of work. And it's, you know, I didn't freak out because I was running a game. Uh, it's just my freak out made it so that running the game was very difficult. Mm. Okay, so highlighting these in this manner means it takes forever. But I need to maintain that kind of aesthetic, that kind of woodcut aesthetic. So, um, oh, you did. <laughs> Thanks to being a mod. I'm telling her you didn't read them. I'm going to tell her that. And she'll be like, dang it, that guy. She'll be like, who's Marlton? She'll forget you because you did that. That's what it is. She's just going to forget you. Um, first episode is up on various platforms now. What? Oh. Um, link it. I didn't know you were doing that as a, like a platform, uh, uh, a podcast. Dude, that's awesome. That takes some guts. Uh, JM, who's also in the feed. Um, Iconic Productions, he is a, a game master for them. Oh, my hand is shaking. And runs games. He's also writing a game, which has already been published. And he's writing follow-ons to it. It's called Jackals. And it is about Bronze Age role-playing, or ra rather, it is a Bronze Age role-playing game with fantasy flavor. Very fantasy flavor. I don't know what to do with the inside of this mouth. I don't know what to do. What does it look like underneath a dog's tongue? This is a question that I've never asked myself. And now that I have uttered it out loud, uh, let's just leave this part because they're going to wind up being teeth around here. I guess I'm just going to do that for now. I don't, know. I don't know. Let's do that blue for the nose. Let's back out of here. Various platforms, he says. Holidays, that's what they're called. These little marks. Let me zoom way in. 
beep, beep, beep. See that line right there in between the blue and the black where it didn't fill? That's called a holiday in my world where the color takes a holiday. So I'm just trying to fix, fixify it. Deselect. Oh, hey, whoa, no, let's not do that. There's an undo button for that kind of thing. Um, happy dog. Oh, here we go. Oh, figures it doesn't actually do. Oh, you have it on Spotify as well? Oh. It's called Core Chummers or Corp Chummers or Core. Because I always wonder, no, it's Corpse. Corp and Corpse. Because they're like Mega Corp. Um, let, me look, let me see here. Well, I won't do that now, though. Notepad. Bam. There. Push this off to the side. So I can actually reference that later. That's how I do things. I go to save that later and it's like, save this thing? Oh, that's why I had it. A um, bit rough in terms of my friend and I. Uh, how many people? But that's just, Was it a one one on one? Because those are hard. Megacorp, yeah. Like a one-on-one -on -one thing is is really tricky. I've never done it. Never. I don't think I have. I'm sure I'd remember, right? Let's grab the next tone up, which would be what? This one? Um... This is where you just gotta, just gotta calm down and make small, uh, slower lines. I don't, I mean, I chose this aesthetic when I started illustrating this deck, and uh, I'm not gonna say I regretted it, but man, I regretted it. it just makes for, <laughs> it's very slow. Because if I try to move fast, you lose the intentionality, the look of this. It's an interesting aesthetic, uh, old woodcut stuff. Not that this is exactly woodcut, but I wanted to, I wanted it to kind of feel like that. If you know what a woodcut is, that's. I'm not about to mansplain it to you. But it's a print. It's a kind of print. Freddy Prince. Sadly, you're unable to get more players. Um, oh, yeah. That's crazy. Get more players and open. Looking for it. See, and Alec, they were interested, but they're going to run it in the morning. That's not going to happen. Um... So I had to turn them down, which kind of bummed me out a little bit. I'm like, oh. I like to play. I'm not necessarily like professional or anything like y'all, but. Um, oh no. You guys. Maddie was just shat on by a bird through the open sunroof of a moving car. Not kidding. Maddie, I'm so sorry. She says she thinks it's a bad omen. Hmm. Hmm. That's freaking... I'm sorry. Yeah, a trick shot for real. <laughs> Called it. Bam! Sorry, Maddie. Uh, but that's kind of funny. Okay, jeez. You gotta admit, it's sort of funny. Maddie, I believe in you. You can overcome. It's. She says she wonders if she should just not do school today, just to be safe. <laughs> 
You don't want to spread the bird poop around. I wonder what kind of bird it was. Does it matter? Because it could be cool, like like a like a bird of prey. Actually, I don't think they have the same kind of poop as other birds. I think I just heard them knocking. Hello? Maybe not. Having a new office with a door means every sound. Hmm. Uh, the Shadowrun sessions happen on Sundays at 5.30. Um, 3.30 Mountain. Um, Currently live on Discord via Discord's new stage feature. Oh. I hadn't heard of that. So it's like a live streaming? or No, because you can stream, but you know, you're just saying that you recorded it live. You didn't broadcast it at the same time. Okay, well, let's see here. How did it work with the stage feature? Pretty easy. Man, Discord's taking over the universe. I'm not going to lie, I'm okay with it. It's been very helpful to me in a lot of different ways. solidify some of these areas it'll act more like a highlight it's kind of like slow speed cross hatching for me very slow uh, it allows tons of people to, into a voice chat but only the people on stage can talk oh Right on. So there's, you know, you could murmur in a in a in a side room, but not in the in the actual like performance. That's cool, dude. That's thinking with portals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, I gave you that idea. I wonder if this, uh, the edition of Shadowrun that's on is the same one I played. Still all D6s, just throwing buckets of D6s at the board, I imagine. In case it's not known, uh, D6s to some of you is just uh, six-sided dice. And I get this a game where you arbitrate, you know, disputes and combat and things like that by throwing these dice around and uh, counting whether or not they succeed based on certain rules. 6E, I think that's what it was. Average 11 D6 dude, how I built my character. Yikes. If you go to, uh, what is it, Drive Through RPG, they have solo campaigns for like. D and D that I've seen in there. Like solo as in you don't even run for anybody else. So I imagine the one to one or one on one or one v one or whatever uh, is a thing. Oops, moving a little fast. Need to slow down. So adorable. Um What's Cthulhu Conf Confidential, JM? Designed for one-on-one -on -one adventures. Of what? Of only Cthulhu? The system? Like, is it a system agnostic thing? Oh, GM. Really? Dude, nope. Marlton, need to check that out. JM is professional DM, not kidding. He writes uh, writes role playing games, writes for them, writes his own. It's actually been published recently. That I that stop me if I've said this one already. Um, Bronze Age role playing with some fantasy craziness tossed in there. 
so it's not strictly Bronze Age like you know there's a there's a different flavor thrown in there to spice it up and freak you out let's do this because it's kind of freaky at times I've said it but keep going gotcha Trail of Cthulhu is what it's called gumshoe oh I know what gumshoe is yeah jam's awesome I've known jam for a while we've done some pretty great work together in a couple different ways in universes <clears throat> he hires me to do a thing I do a thing we love it oh there's something wrong with the face on this something wrong with your face Poodles have this like dark area right here that makes it look like they kind of have a mustache. And it's not a flattering mustache. It's sort of a, I don't know, not a Hitler mustache, but it's, it's not great. Hitler did ruin a pretty great facial hairstyle for the rest of us. Just wrecked it. I mean, I'll do without it. I'll be fine. This card is the one that talks about, this one is for the card that talks about, you know, the poodle is put in first place. So like if you're, if you've chosen the poodle and you're currently racing the poodle and you are not in first place, choosing this or having this card come up in the stack means that you go to first place. So that's why it looks like this doggo is very excited to be running. Running. There's a card called the Cone of Shame kind of makes me laugh a little bit um i need to figure out what he wants from that am i supposed to do a cone of shame for every dog like if you come in last place yeah i don't know how that's gonna work there's a card called the cone of shame that's the takeaway here um you watch 30 coins never heard of it What's 30 coins? It's on HBO. I think I have... Uh, no. The last thing I watched on HBO... I can't recall. 30 coins, huh? Yeah, sign up, sign up. I'm working my way through a list. It's first come, cruise serve, and I draw whatever the heck I want. Um, Catholic Cthulhu... <laughs> <laughs> wow. That sounds awesome and also slightly confusing. Which is, I mean, honestly very Cthulhu if you think about it. Just something so eldritch you don't understand. Like Catholic Cthulhu would be eldritch enough to be, uh, you would be unable to wrap your brain around it. Um, it relies on the Gnostic Gospel of Judas. Oh, for Catholic cosmic horror. Ooh, that's why 30 coins. <laughs> I'm pretty smart. Um, really? Should I have read the Gnostic Gospel of Judas? Or can I just get the cliff notes? Is that a thing that I need to study? You know, let me onboard. Is there an onboarding process? Like when you watch Guardians of the Galaxy and you have no idea who the Guardians are. Literally, JM, you're the only person in the universe that actually knew who the Guardians of the Galaxy were prior to the film coming out. Do it. That's it. Everyone else was like, just acted like they knew who it was. Like, oh yeah, that, yeah it's cool. Did you see how they did that thing? And with the other bit, um, you were the only one that knew. Okay. So do I have to do I have to research the I don't have to, okay. Lots of from the book of Judas. Um you did not know who they were. No. You're a liar. No. Just like you've never played Demon Souls. Anyone? Okay. Okay. Seriously.
anyone who ever says they played the game Demon Souls has not played Demon Souls and they're a liar and you shouldn't allow them in your life. And if they say that they knew who the Guardians of the Gospel, Guardians of the Gospel. That's my spin-off of the whole thing, the Guardians of the Gospel. It's going to be a pretty great uh, pretty great uh, hit hit amongst the, the, the catechism crowd. Um, can we just write a webcomic called The Guardians of the God? No, because people will take it seriously and I don't want to be taken seriously. Um, it explains it well. Okay, okay. Um, you've not played Demon Souls. That's good. Don't be lying. Um... <laughs> Oh, uh, that's awesome! You knew who they were because I was like, uh, I was one of those people's like, seriously, it's it's a tree, it's a talking tree. That's cool. I have no idea what the hell is going on. Um, is a most holy saint because he betrayed Christ so that salvation would happen. Good grief! The idea that evil must exist to have good shine brighter. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, I don't know. I understand that the shadow proves the sunshine, but light does not need shadow to exist. They are not necessarily opposites, but one is a consequence of the other. Fight me! If the sun is so strong, why will it not fight me? My love for you is so strong, but it will not fight. The Gnostic Gospel. That's awesome. 30 coins. You agree with mom here? Yeah. Um, it's a Gnostic rash rationalization and pretty wackadoo. <laughs> Evil is a shadow of good. Thank you. We should all hang around and be inklings like Tolkien and C.S. Lewis and just smoke pipes and drink strong ale. Discuss all the books we've written and perhaps criticize each other sometimes harshly and publicly okay so the analogy breaks down we don't have to be like the inklings but it, it could be it could be a thing parasitic inversion oh i like that i do i like that parasitic inversion hmm i have to give some thought to that though it so it must it it, it must have it to live, but it doesn't need, but, but light does not need darkness to live, but it needs, ah, oh, okay, yeah, 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 I'm tracking now, I, my brain moves slower, my brain moves slower, mainly because I stay up till one in the clock, one in the clock, one o'clock in the morning and play Apex Legends like a fool with my nephew. Apex Legends is superior to Overwatch. Fight me. There's lots of fighting going on. Here we go. Watch. Okay. Go into here. Do the fight command. Fight. Well, I haven't done this in a while. Here we go. Discord for streamers. What? What? Sorry, JM. You just got knocked out by a bot. Um... Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, Apex Legends is superior to Overwatch. Fight me. Now, it's not a fair comparison because one is a battle royale, which I typically despise. Um, and the other is a 5v5 shooter. Um, so they're, they're, it's not a fair comparison. I just I got so fed up with uh, the loot box system of Overwatch that I stopped playing. And I, t I teased my eldest son, Garrett, because he, he jumped off that bandwagon faster than fast uh, because of their loot box scheme being corrupt and shitty. And so I just let it, I, I let it ride for much longer, and then I started getting freaking pissed off because of the whole two grays and a blue thing. Every other one was two grays and a blue, if not, you know, two blues and a gray. So this, this loot box system. So when I went over to play Apex, I was coaxed over there by my nephew and I gave it a shot. And I, honestly, I really liked it. And they give away boxes like crazy. And you may not get great stuff, but you get boxes and boxes and but they just throw boxes at you. You might get dumb stuff, but the fact that you the sheer volume of boxes is just way more fun. Um, uh, yeah, I, 
I have both. Yeah, so I, I haven't played Overwatch in forever. I need to honestly give it another shake. It's been a while. It's been long enough to where I've cleansed my palate. Get back in there and play Reinhardt a little bit more because that's... That's the other thing. Is like people say, I'm a Reinhardt main or whatever. And honestly, you can't main anyone in that game. I don't care what you say. Uh, you have to be... It's rock, paper, scissors. 100% rock, paper, scissors. Crap, somebody took D.Va. I should have to take, you know, whatever. I don't know who the counters are right now. Um, but, you know, rock, paper, scissors is not a fun way to balance a game. Make it more skill than it is mechanical counters, and I'm in. Um... It is a mission season on Overwatch. Wait, what? What does that mean? Um, you're a healer main. Good. That see that makes more sense when you're when you say you're a class type main. I'm a tank main. I prefer to get in there, mix things up, create opportunities and openings. And so you know, being a Reinhardt slash Big Monkey slash Diva main, um, and sometimes uh, or uh, or what is her name? Or the the big centaur, whatever. Um, Three PVE missions. Oh, man. Okay. I love PVE. Well, I'm not going to download it right now. I almost just did that. You see me impulsively just reach for Orissa. Thank you. God, it's driving me crazy. Um, I love Orissa. She's pretty stationary, but I, I think she's great. But she can move her stuff around. It's just, ah, she's so good. Um, three PVE missions. You were on an Overwatch esports team until really, huh? Pretty damn good healer. Who's your favorite healer? Go. You can't say you main one, but you can say you have a favorite one. And if you say mercy, I'm gonna throw my arms around you. Thank you. Good. Yep, mercy is. The shit. Mine is uh, Soldier 76. Fight me. Fight! Best healer in the game. Stick with me, kid. Bam! Throwing down. Bam! Just hang around with me. Um, yeah, Mercy is solid. Medic from TF2. Yeah, Medic was the best. Baptiste um, Mo uh, Moria. I cannot play her well. Um, she's the one that shoots out the ball of crazy really like or the beams in the ball yeah that bounces around really cool I always try and get way too tricky with it when really I should just use the ability and I'm like I, I, stop being tricky just kick it out there <laughs> soldiers healing is mediocre shut your damn mouth um no, I I really am joking. His his healing is mediocre. I just I, I can't tell you how many times I've actually like rescued a team fight because I'm able to pop that down. Especially like in Junkenstein's Revenge, that's a PVE uh, scenario. But still, dude, he's clutch with that heal grenade that he's got. So that's when I started joking about his healing being best in the game. suppose I should take down the stream title that says I'm working on an iPad. People come on and be like, what the hell? I wanted to learn about iPads. Nobody says that. Healing is not to be taken lightly. It can honestly be the difference. Yes. It's like Reaper's healing. Actually, do they still do that where he heals from just noshing on people after he destroys them in the middle of the field? Because that was some scary shit, but it really worked out nicely uh, when it did. I'm terrible at Reaper. Just freaking atrocious. And I know he's good because I've been offed by him as a tank like about 80 million times in my time of playing. I'm not edgy enough to play Reaper, let's face it. Um, but it's not as much as it used to. Okay. 
But no, I'm not as much of an edgelord as, as you have to be when you play Reaper. You have to have like a really crazy name with like 6969XXX somewhere in the name. Um, and then, you know, your personal appearance has to be on par, up to point. Otherwise, you're not going to be allowed to be a card-carrying Reaper main. You know I'm right, though. It's the kind of guy you get on your team and he never plays anyone but Reaper, no matter what counter is actually necessary. You're like, bro, 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 bro. I've been playing way too much Rainbow Six Siege, so jumping into a game like Overwatch, where you have to dump an entire three magazine uh, into somebody to kill him, is going to be very difficult. Very difficult. Um, Reaper does not... Okay, so yeah. No, you know I'm right, though. Um, Rainbow Six Siege is very lethal. You can pop somebody immediately with a headshot. I don't care what class you are. Um, and their abilities are never like make or break. I really like that. So it's not... It's, and you, it, it's not rock, paper, scissors. That's the thing that pisses me off about Overwatch. I'm tired of rock, paper, scissors stuff where it's like, I'm a great Reinhardt, but you're going to teleport behind me and cap me in my ass uh, and thereby just negating my entire power. Um, so, you know, the, rather than balance the game, I just don't like that kind of balance. Some people love that kind of balance. And it forces people to play different classes. And that, that is the bonus. That is, that is a great thing. Um, it's just not my idea of a good time. Not entirely. I'm, I prefer abilities being pretty cool but not like the the winning in any confrontational uh winning equation <clears throat> love hate relationship with rainbow six scenes good game but in my opinion it doesn't <clears throat> live up to what i see really oh man i don't know i feel like it's the best in all the titles <laughs> uh but but i've never been super invested in anything enough to be like I don't know, I guess really partial to one versus another? What makes it feel different to you from the others uh, that you find less than optimal? I'm not going to say negative, but less than optimal. And if I play S Rainbow Six for... A week I get r back in the swing of things and I'm really quite lethal so it's one of the games one of the few games in the universe where I feel like I could actually stream it for some entertainment value I won't but um, I'd stream uh, Vermintide 2 it's a hell of a game and I've gotten to the place where I can get into the higher level con content <clears throat> highest level no I haven't done that because mm, while I think I'm capable in time because my tactics are getting better and better and better, it just doesn't look like fun. It doesn't look like fun. <clears throat> Always this tactical TPS RTS game. Ah, where you manage a squad. Mm -hmm, okay. Yeah, they stripped the RTS aspects out of it. <clears throat> so you would have been, it's a comparison. I see what you're saying. Uh, stream of entertainment value as well as room and time and sea of thieves sea of thieves is so much fun right now um, <laughs> um yeah yeah so see elder scrolls i've been like super intrigued by that um i just don't know if i can throw that much money at it right now i say that having just spent 40 dollars on apex legends i am ashamed of myself uh you know, I, it was an impulse purchase. And I'm not unhappy. I just... If I like a game, I will throw money at it because I want them to keep do, doing what I like. <laughs> Purely selfish. But yeah. Um, it is free to play, but all the... You, too much shit is locked behind stuff. Aren't, don't they lock... Uh, just like um, DDO? Don't they lock stuff behind it? Like entire expansions of content I thought that's what it was when I looked it up 
I think I just spit on my leg. It's either that or it's raining in here slightly, just ever so slightly. You okay? But uh, the expansions were on sale for like sixteen bucks for all. <sighs> that would have been nice. That would have been nice. See that? That would allow me to get in and out of the game. You know. That's partly why I want. Yeah, I don't know. I, like with WoW, it's hard to just jump in and enjoy it, even though I like the game. Because now I feel like this intense guilt if I pay for a month and I don't play like at least half the month. And so I find myself just on there compulsory. Eh, I want to be able to just to pop in like Trove, one of the dumbest MMOs of all time. I love that freaking game. Um, I, you know, I don't, you don't pay anything. You just show up. And if you, you I don't know, that is a great game. I don't care. Um, disagree with the throwing money at things you like. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you sit in bliss. But you're broke, yeah. Let's do a shadow color. I have messed around long enough with this highlight, so let's do one shade darker. I haven't set up all my hotkeys yet, so this one. Yeah, baby. Subscribed? Man, I lost all my volume on that. I barely noticed it. Thanks for the subscription. Oh my gosh. That is you you gifting him the subscription. That means you're awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but that right there, is that like less loud than the music or you're so stupid. Why are you doing that? If you're broke, you shouldn't do that, but it's awesome. You're pretty incredible. Now you have the emotes and, uh, the little subscriber badge, which is bizarre and about to change. Did I change it? No, I didn't change it yet. I have a new one. And I'm pretty excited. They, they made it so much easier to change this stuff now that I, I, I'm, I do it. I changed my lol emote um, pretty quickly, pretty easily. Uh, my pog emote. Did you see Pogzilla? Dude, you should get a PDF. Yeah, PDF of jackals. Dude. See, that calls for Pogzilla. Watch. Pogzilla. Bam! Um, of course you saw the Pogzilla. Uh, yeah, you should totally. This is awesome. Tell your friends. Now, JM did not use me for the art in the book, so you'll have to forgive him. That's... I mean, the book looks great, but, psh, you know, didn't attach my name to it, so. It's the only reason Steve Jobs hasn't bought one. That and he's not alive, so it's not the only reason. Steve Jobs is an early adopter of amazing role-playing games. <laughs> Hunter Killer, yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to be... No, it's not. There's no shame. <clears throat> There's no choice. Um, Hunter Killer, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not talking about it. I'm not saying nothing about it because it's not my project to say things about, but it's going to be cool. I'm hoping I can do some of that art on stream because there's going to be a lot of trial and error on that. and going to be tricky. Tricky. Winnie the Pooh horror <laughs> to Geiger. <laughs> uh, thanks, Marlton. <laughs> but to Geiger, to Geiger. That would be... Oh, hell no. Um, okay, now we have to rename all of them to be like... I don't know. I can't do it, actually. 
Um, that one's the best one. I can't follow it up. <laughs> you've done it. Damn it. You've done it. Let's uh, do this. Sometimes it just takes too long to fill some of this in, so this is what I'm going to do. Tigger, come on. That guy was such a mess. I need to turn up my uh, alert sound. Otherwise, I will miss all of the alerts wherever my alert box is. Sound alerts. Nope, can't turn it up here. Why? But why? Go to the dashboard. This adorable poodle. Um, let's see. Uh, cloud by no, 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 no. Twitch panels, no. Do you use Streamlabs OBS? There it is. Alert box. Alert types. I think I've done all this. Why is it doing this? See how quiet that is? Wow, they like. I don't even know how you change the, the audio, the, the volume on them. That's so sad that I can't hear them at all. Oh, I think I know why. Hold on. Oh, I think I know why. Let me try this again. Just going to test this. I'm going to repeat the amazing. There it is. It was always loud enough. I just didn't have my Spotify turned down far enough to hear it. Whoops. Whoops. Um, if the alert audio is up all the way, you can go to the stream as a... What? Wait, what? What is the secret? The secret. Still sounds quiet? Okay, if the alert audio is up all the way, you can go to the Streamlabs website to increase it from there. I do not see the alert audio increase. Do do do. See, because this is the this is control it via OBS. I don't think that's the right thing. Do 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 do. Alert box. See, I'm afraid to touch anything in here. If it sounded quiet, think, think, think. Do I have to turn it up in every one of the? different ones sound volume oh my gosh okay so I do so like um, a subs see that sounds really loud to me but if I crank it up even more heavens here we go save the setting testing that's not the right one I must be logged in as a different I'm logged in under YouTube. This is why. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. If I'm in under Twitch and I hit this one. Okay, that's the correct subscription one, which means I can go down here and turn up the volume. Save the settings on that. Here we go. It's going to be loud. Is that any louder? This is the content, people, okay? Content. Enjoy me trying to debug my settings. Do, do, do. 
Yeah, that wasn't any louder. Content. You know, you like it. Subscription. Test it. Sounds no louder. None. That's dumb. Um, that's dumb. I can hear no louder. It was working fine before, which is really weird. But at least it's loud enough to know where if somebody did something now, like cheered or whatever, I would hear it and be able to uh, react. Do, do you want to see liquify? Look, look, let's look at liquify. Um, give me my line layer. This is one of my favorite things in the world. When I screw up a line like I just noticed. Let me bring this over here so you can see what I'm working on. <clears throat> I don't like the way I made one half of her face go up and kind of out to the side. See that? That needs to move. So... I can pull it over in a liquefied fashion. Now it doesn't move every layer, so I'm gonna have to kind of mess with it, but it moves it over without like ruining a lot of uh, the line quality that you had. Now that I'm all close in, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna draw the whole thing with uh, liquefy. Bam. At least 30 minutes to two hours goes to fixing things. <laughs> and nobody minds. We just all hang out. I haven't actually seen you stream in forever. It's not my fault. I rarely get any actual notifications. Like, you know who I get notifications for all the time is Ark Slayer. All the time. I always get his. It's crazy. I notice it. I'm like, what the... So I know I know that they're going off. I just don't get them. Do, do, do. do I really only have two colors of blue here? I'm gonna have to make another color of blue, um, or a tone of it, because I need a little bit of highlighting right here. Sea of Thieves, I've been playing a little too much of. Um, they just put out a new season, so that's going to have to happen tonight. Ah. Um, they have a whole different kind of toxicity in that game. Um, since, since you can have open mic, like proximity-based open mic, people will just like rail on you and stuff. Oh my gosh. Like when they're defeating you handily in PvP, they'll just like make fun of you and stuff. You're like, oh, oh, wow, okay, so it's 4v1 and you're going to mock me. But that's, you know, just, just par for the course. It's a game about pirates. Um, but the what I found interesting is um, Apex It does is not very, very, not very uh, toxic. It's been pretty great. Um, oh, dude. Yeah, no, it's far better than it ever was before. Uh, I only know that because I've been told that, um, that the, the game has just improved. It was downright unplayable for, what, the first year? And they listened to a lot of feedback, and they, went, they did a lot of work to fix all their issues. And so now they have, like before, I guess, okay, currently this is how it works. If you die somewhere, you, you wind up on the ferry the fairy of the damned and you come back to your place of origin before if you fell off your boat you might as well go down and drown and then go to the ferry and then you go back to your boat nowadays they have something called a mermaid so if you wind up in the water they spawn a mermaid with a lantern and they make like a distinct noise and you go over and you tap on them and boom you're back in your ship uh, after a couple seconds um, so that's like a quality of life improvement because nobody wants to sit around and try and drown themselves so they can 
go back to the boat. Yeah, it is. Oh, you do know the mermaid. So it's you've played more recently than um, the, like when the, when the game first came out. There was none. They only had bananas, and that sucks. You know now they have different food types that convey, confer different confer confer different uh, benefits on you. Like overhealing and stuff like that. Not overhealing. Yeah, over regening, overhealing, regen, whatever. And that is freaking. If you eat certain meat or kraken meat or whatever. Um, currently, they added an entire emissary system. I don't know if you know that. That is pretty great. Uh, you can choose to be an emissary of reapers or the merchants or gold hoarders or order of souls. It's pretty insane. Um, the amount of interaction that that kind of pushes because if you fly the flag of the reapers to get certain benefits you better be willing to do some pvp people will attack you um scumbag uh, the type to do athena stealing yeah um solo a gal solo a galleon what just to ping my crew when a valid oh i see i see i see server hopping yeah so you would server hop and that's that's cool that's I mean, define scumbag. It's a game about pirates. I don't care how underhanded you are. Um, aside from stream sniping, I don't. I don't ever condone that. I think. Oh, hey, whoa, that was a mistake. Um, I don't ever condone that. But you know, I don't care how underhanded you are. Stealing Athena's. If you want to do that, that's that's the way you play the game. Um, I had an Athena stolen from me once, just once though. And you know what? I didn't care because I sold the rest of the stuff. It's not as valuable to me as some other people. It's just not that valuable to me. Um, just a big no-no, says the two streamers. Um, so, yeah, I don't care. I, I, uh, Athena, sure, I'd like more Athena's rep, but I can get more Athena's rep going into the Devil's Roar and doing Athena missions than the Ford of the Damned. Fort of the Damned is just sexy, and that's that's why people fight over it. Um, they just introduced a new fort type today, um, which, as far as I can tell, the only difference is it drops pouches of gold along the way, spawns three captains at the end, and gives you another... Oh, and 18 waves, uh, but it gives you another bone dust chest or something. My crew was always uh, trying to be a nice crew. <laughs> uh, we realized they were just trying to steal it from us. Yeah, exactly. Never trust anyone. So we stole theirs, killed them because, yeah, because it's proper pirates. Um, oh, Arena? Hell no. Um, yeah, and I'm always the helmsman. Always. With a crew that works together, it's amazing on a galleon. Otherwise, I like a brig. You can have one person be kind of stupid and it still work on a brig. Uh, but yeah, if you ever find yourself back in the game, we can go and be pirates. I'm not especially great at PvP. Uh, I'm getting better. I do better on ship to ship than I do on boarding or even getting boarded. Uh, I don't know. I just, I like a lot of PvE stuff, so I'm not, you know, I'm not overly, like, focused on finding crews to fight and whatnot. Hell, I've even been known to join an Alliance server. Did that a few times already, and that is, it's kind of fun in a different way. It's chill. Make some serious gold. Holy crap. And there's always one boat that goes rogue. Here's what cracks me up. There's, I'll be in an alliance server and whatever, we're duping around and all of a sudden somebody's like, oh my God, there's a rogue. You know, and you're just like, holy crap, somebody went rogue, whatever. So we don't have all the support in the whole server. You wouldn't believe how these guys crap their pants. I'm like, you guys need to get off the server, go play in the real sea for a while. Um, are you guys playing tonight? I probably will be playing tonight, yeah, because up until about nine o'clock when my nephew comes on and he's going to want to play apex. So if he doesn't come on, I'm going to be on it all night. Um, but yeah, I'll be, I'll be around. Uh, are we not Xbox buddies? Um, I, you know, it'll probably just be me and Obi for a long while. So if you show up, we could run a, we could run a brig and see if we can't go, go get sunk by somebody. 
um, they got a new, there's something new to do with uh, merchants too, and I don't know really what it is. Hey, oh, <laughs> thank you, Primal. <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, the, the, this is the character card, and then the one where this is for a card game, so kind of a 20s thing, 1920s thing. Um, time zone, I'm in central time zone. That's where I live, unfortunately. So yeah, up until about 9 o'clock probably, I'm guessing. If not later. Hey, I might get into it and just tell Grayson, sorry bro. I'm enjoying Sea of Thieves too much. You know, Apex will be around when this, you know. It's, it was a major release and it just happened today. Season 2 literally started today. So it's going to kind of be hard for me to, to, to turn away from it. Um, yeah, Primal, I know that this stream... Uh, says that I'm working on an iPad, um, but I'm not. The mirroring software sucks and won't maintain a connection to the AirPlay um, that I have normally found to be actually really kind of solid. So I'm just going to work on the normal Wacom. Boring old Cintiq. I know a lot of people would kill for a Cintiq, but I just, you know... There's something about the Apple Pencil. It is 500% more feel. 500%. An hour off then. I don't know where you are. Um, oh, you're a mountain. Oh, so is JM. Yeah, mountain. Yeah, we're an hour off. Third for Apex. I wouldn't mind getting back into it. All right, well, then we can do trios. Uh, I'll ping you, and there's never any, like, pressure. That's the, that's the one I always want to enforce on people. Is like, hey, if, if somebody asks, ask a hundred times. And if they say no a hundred times, then it's nothing personal. You know, it's the hundred and first time where you get together and have a blast. So, yeah, no, no, no pressure, if you will. I always feel like, well, there's one dude who takes me up on it, who is always inviting me and I rarely join him. But when I do, we have a good time. Chill man, love how you did that fluff though. Hey, thanks. Appreciate that. You into the arts yourself? You into dogs? Or you into dar dogs and art? Um, you usually want to say no a hundred times. Uh, totally understand. Let me grab my darkest brown. I'm trying to match these browns, Primal, so that it, you know they look correct from one card to another. So clearly, this is uh, my darkest. This is where the form really starts turning, and you can tell what's going on because I'm able to add the depth. Fluffy dog. Um, yeah, this is the kind of poodle I like. I don't like like the little miniature ones so much, especially when they do the weird haircuts for them. It's not my hmm, not my aesthetic. I like them when they're more natural. I like the big ones because I like a big dog. Big doggo. Um, don't do dogs. Do you don't draw dogs often? Uh, big cats like lions and cheetahs a lot though. Nice. Okay. There's something to the the posture of a cat, the the nature of their face that is can be kind of sort of aloof and, um, but also vicious too. There's there's something to to cats. It really is. You can, in your mind, envision a cat that's angry more readily than you can a dog that's angry. You ever notice that? I don't know if you've given that much thought. But uh, you can. I mean, it's cats, we can recognize a lot of different emotions just in our minds when we think about them because they are so labile. They're all over the place from one emotion right to the next. Whereas dogs, oftentimes, especially the ones we hang out with, not just like when you're watching a nature documentary, we pretty much see them as either placid or just super happy. Tongue hanging out, wagging his tail. Unless you start thinking about a wolf. But we don't see those nearly as much. Um, you're more of a dog person? Yeah. You and me both. Check out my dogs. Here, I'll show you. I'm, this is, I got hired to do this game. Um, for a guy 
who is, let's see, let's see, let's see, cards, best in show. It's making a, it's about dog racing. And the mechanics, I'm going to spare you because I don't want actually to, I don't think he wants me sharing the mechanics of the game. But this file is going to take forever to open, by the way. Um, this is the progress. This, when I do card games, I put all the cards on the same freaking file. Um, you're 100% a cat person? <laughs> oh, yeah, that sucks. Moving away. Nothing against dogs. You can be a cat person, and that's totally fine. doesn't make you a psychopath. It's just as one factor in making you a psychopath. Just one. Uh, yeah, I lost my, my buddy, my cat, of, what, 17-plus years? recently it really kind of messed me up because i don't like cats i really don't um never have it's not my thing Ooh, my frame rate just went to crap and uh for some reason he was the most sickly thing he had a heart murmur and his eyes were all jacked up and he was super skinny and he just became mine i just adopted the crap out of him so he became mine okay so here are my other dogs you know my favorite dog in the world would be uh, an English bulldog. So this is so I'm I'm doing like a 1920s aesthetic for all these dogs, and their owners. Um, so like Prohibition era, here's like this flapper hat thing. This one, DePaulo, he's like a a race car driver pug thing. Um, Chief, this is her. She's I don't know a cop. Um, Raul, who is secret society. He's so secret society. It's not even funny. Um, Dane, he's my favorite drawing so far. Oh, thanks. Um, he's my favorite of all the drawings so far because he has enough character. And he just, he's a boxer. Not a boxer. He's a Dane. And I named him Dane because Dane is an actual name. I have to fix the banners and the signs of these things. Um, this is Pal Cabone. I know. Bad. I'm a dad. It's a bad j dad joke. Um, but yeah, that's, he's a, he's a gangster. So there's going to be like cards where they get paired with, um, different owners so i have like the owners here this big fat guy he's boss like boss hog um dude maxi's here i'm just talking about a card game what's up man um card game that i'm building for somebody uh two weenie dogs dude and a doberman boy that's pretty far one of them looks like made it's part made from made from parts of the other so these are the owners boss caroline she's the teetotaler you know She's prohibition, pro, anti-drinking rather. Duke, jazz club, super famous. Emma May, flapper. Um, Jeb it would be more of like your um, still running, you know, rum running. Uh, and then Bogart, who I had to make look like a noir detective. So this is this is getting pretty complex. Um, so yeah, I don't know when the game will be produced. I think it's largely waiting on me, obviously. I don't know how much further he's made it into the rules and whatnot. Um, yeah, it, it looks like it's going to be a fun kind of family card game, for sure. Um, but what's happening, Maxie? What are you doing? Speaking of Sea of Thieves, this is one of the guys I played Sea of Thieves with recently. Also a streamer on this platform. Marlton, who is with us as a streamer. Um, we got somebody here from YouTube. We got JM, who's a writer of RPGs, who's hanging out with us. So, yeah. We have some random bot in the audience. I know this earlier because I made them randomly fight. And uh, they showed up to fight. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, this is my... I'm working on the one card that says, you know, like, Poodle moves to first place. And so this is, you know, looking like she's having a good time. She's got to look like she's having a good time. It's about dog racing. And so I think I would challenge and push back on the, the idea that the name of the card game is Best in Show. It probably should be called something else. Best in show is about dog shows, right? About not racing, but like more like a quality and pedigree type of show, I think.
uh, waiting to get into queue to do the same thing you're doing. What do you mean? Card game? Or you, uh, when you signed up for my free art? Or what? Wait, 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 wait. What are we talking about? Um, or your stream elements. I know at one point you talked about maybe... Whoa, I just used blue where I did not intend to use blue. Brother, I'm down to help. I really am. I got a... I got Marlton who's going to need some stuff done, which I'm happy to do. Giggles if he ever shows up. He's working too hard. Um, I think this dude named Gordon Hammer needs more stuff. I think. But often this stuff I want to do when the people are actually on stream. I'd rather... I'd rather them be around. Shiny, shiny hat, shiny brim of the hat. Let's sample some of this. I don't know what kind of symbol this is, but it was on uh, some cop's hat from uh, the 20s, so I, so I went with it. Authentic dog, dog from the 20s, dog. Streaming, uh, yeah, VTuber. VTuber model organ, VTuber, VTuber. I don't know what a VTuber, oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, you're doing the face rigging on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Random bot go burr. Um, I feel dogs are way easier to make them look happy compared to most animals. I know, because they're kind of sort of born with a smile. Uh, mostly. Except for, like, pincers. I don't think a pincer has a smile. Um, the Vayner dogs, they got kind of a happy face. Let's make a little bit more this happen but yeah the, the vtuber thing i thought about trying to do that it looks like fun um but i've just i haven't gotten my i started making the model at one point and i just lost interest because i just do stuff sometimes where i'm like hey I made a custom tip jar right here, so you can see it on my screen. If you know somebody buys uh, or uh, tips and um, uh, bits, they fall in there and kind of bounce around. No idea how long that took me. It took me way too long for. <laughs> so like maybe I should get into the VTuber thing again. Um, also, why you why you know post you streaming? I always worry what. Huh, really? That's crazy. I don't know why that would be happening. I wonder if it affects... The, I don't I don't show myself as online ever. Let me look. If I go to... Back to Twitch. I wonder if that... No, it shows me on. Online. Streaming art. Hey, shut up. I don't want to hear you. No, it's some random, no, it's some random guy talking in my ear. Um, yeah, that's weird. I don't know why you wouldn't see that. Do you have a favorite thing to draw? I'm so glad you asked. Pop quiz. What's my favorite thing to draw? Marlton, go. You know exactly. I don't want to wait for you to type it, but I'm going to wait just 20 seconds. Favorite thing for me to draw. And you can name two things. Uh, mechs, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes, mechs and monsters. Those are my things. I draw lots of robots. I draw lots of monsters when I can do it. Uh, when I'm not making somebody else's stuff. Um, unless, you know, so yeah. Very good. Marlton, you get me. Um, making models is not my cup of tea. Someone made it for me. Oh, yeah. That's cool then. Yeah, <laughs> it needs a lot. Oh, that sucks. Um, shows you on Twitch, it just, uh, easier through Twitch friends. I don't know what that is, dude. Check your DM if you want to see something mech and cool. Is this the one you showed me your character the other day was kind of mech and cool? Okay, hold on. My DMs through Twitch or my DMs through... I can spell Twitch. Content. While I check DMs. Content. No, don't don't say. I don't see any whispers. 
let me go out to, over to Discord. I don't I'm not run Discord while I'm working because there are so many bleeps and I just want to go look at all the stuff. Like, I'm so easily distracted. But it is booting up. We'll see. I got four DMs from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw this one with the big gun on the back and the missiles. Ooh. That's a cool looking overlay. Yeah, bro. These are good. I don't know what this one is. But I like the kind of like graphic nature of it. I can't get in close enough. But there's like a headdress around the ear that goes... Yeah, it's very kind of graphic. I like it when things are almost silhouette. Um, Twitch Friends is just a Twitch Friends list. Oh, yeah, I ignore the shit out of that. Um, mainly mean on Discord when it comes to you not posting. Oh, yeah, I never remember to do that. I'm the worst. I'm the worst streamer ever. I just do it because I like it. Um, I will do live announcement channels. Like, yes. You can put yourself on D and D. What's D and D? D and D. Because I like D and D, but I doubt that's what you're talking about. Just saying. Uh, oops. No, that is not the right color, is it? No. But I can make that work. He says with confidence. Um, oh, do not disturb. <laughs> You're right. I don't actually know how to do that. I'm such a boomer. No, I'm not. Um, Discord status shows you live, but you won't get distracted by boops. <sighs> All right, Discord, where are you? I can go to you and say, bam, and then say, do not disturb. There, I will no longer be disturbed by anything. Even these, even these that you just sent me. Yeah, that looks cool. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Is that your rig that you're working with? That's kind of neat. Seems like it's going to be, it, it will be kind of hard. Yeah. Dude. Click your profile pic. Yeah, I did. Okay. I did, Marlton. I'm way ahead of you. Still find you incredibly useful, though. Thank you. Maxie, this is... Uh, Marlton might join on uh, some Sea of Thieves stuff. So, if, you know... But this is going to be some regular go around and destroy people type of scenarios. Um... Maybe a little PvE if he's down. He's a professional gamer, man, so the two of you should get along swimmingly because you are both professional gamers. I actually lurked on your stream the other day, Maxi. I was on mobile, so chatting was not a thing. Um... <laughs> I'm saying there's two guys here that are professional streamer men's. You are one of them, and Marlton is the other. Professional streamer. So that's why. Um, because I know Marlton won't do it for himself. Um... That's where he lives and resides and works. And a shout out for Maxi would be something very useful to me. Whoa, I just used the wrong blue, brown again. I look away from my computer too much and I forget which like colors I'm working with and whatnot. I do want to do one of those freaking VTuber model things. This looks so fun. I don't see a lot of people do it, so it is kind of sort of distinguishing. I do work with uh, 3D models, so I could make my own. I just created a uh, cursed skull 
for uh I thought that Marlton, can you shout out this man's this man's Maxi? Um <laughs> I just shouted you out and I was like, oh see, you're the best. See, he was already on it. He did not need me to to uh tell him that. He was just like, My internet died and now I'm back up to speed. Um yeah. I uh Oh, I wonder if I should open it. Check this out. This is my computer will probably blow me away for trying to do this. Do, 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 do. I don't know if you guys know what Blender is. It's a 3D application that's actually f f f free. Um, but I use it. I mean, I use it for everything. This is a skull I made. Check it out. I just, I'm having this 3D printed right now on a couple different levels. Um, I have a Captain Skull as well, but this one I'm going to make into an Athena. Yeah, Blender is fun. Um, <laughs> it is, it's some of the worst UI I've ever seen in Blender. Um, it's just complete shit. Whoa. I just went to sculpting and I lost my entire model. Seriously? Seriously? Um, but yeah, maybe because I shouldn't be. But yeah, I built this whole thing. I built it off of uh, photos from... Uh, the wiki and stuff, trying to get the, the the ratios right. I think the eyes are too bulbous. But, but, hear me out. This thing is being printed for me in translucent, bright green resin so that I can light it from the inside and make it an Athena skull. Yes, sir. Making an Athena skull. Um, but I'm kidding. <laughs> I, can, I can do 3D. Yeah, I like sculpting in 3D. I also do hard surface modeling, but not as much. Um, Looking DMs again. My new release should be there. A piece for free. Wait, what? I see nothing. I see no overlays. Is it because I'm not on Do Not Disturb? So do I have to go to... Oh, the model. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now was distracted. You're the one to put... <laughs> kind of looks like something out of a medieval game. Yeah, it's a pirate game. Um, but yeah, medieval games with, like, nice geometry would be rad. I like fantasy stuff. What in the world do you have here? Work in progress. This is your whole... Oh, yeah. No, that's good. I like the handwritten maxi up at the top. What is the hazard stripes area going to be? Like the chat area? Probably. You got it going up the side at one point, which is nice and uh, atypical. I dig it. I dig it. <laughs> I'm with the free art. Yes. Depends. Depends on the, the art. Some art is free. Oh, I see. With your model down there. Yeah. Dude. That's pretty great. You're, uh, yeah, I didn't see, uh, what I didn't, what I'm trying to think when I was on your channel, if you had anything on there, I don't recall. I was on mobile though. I really hate Twitch mobile, uh, but sometimes when I see somebody go live, then I must, I must join immediately. Um, okay. So I think chief is done for this particular card i have this other one that i need to start and this will make you laugh but here we go i'm going to pull it off of my when i say this will make you laugh it probably won't make you laugh that's overselling it but i think this is pretty funny i shall send this to myself because no because for some reason i can't get the airplay to work sending to my gmail this is the content people content content join the stream today and watch bob email shit to himself <clears throat> boo, boo, doo, boo. hey my refund has been processed good hey If you want to show more art, go for it. I'll check it out. Maxi. I don't know why this isn't showing up. 
I just sent it. Do 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 do. Okay, it's showed up on here, but it has not shown up on here. I literally sent it from this to like right here. You'd think it would go really fast. It's only like two feet, but it's still taking its time. Do, 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 do. If I can get my freaking... <clears throat> there it is, baby. Did I just seriously send myself a show in folder? This guy, this guy makes me laugh. Untitled artwork. It's the only way to fly. I swear to God. Okay, so this is Caroline. Or no, whatever. I think it's Caroline. My bulldog. She running. This is the one where they say, where the card says that she's in first place. So, yeah. Um, I submit a thing, uh, I submit a thing or whatever. If you ever feel like drawing Maxi, you got the okay from me, broski. Yeah, if I ever feel like drawing, maybe. Maybe, maybe if sign up for the thing. Look, look through my night bot. Where the heck is it? Um, put your name on the list and it'll, the, the free stuff just happens as I get to it, just like pew, somewhere down the line, because because I like it. Otherwise, it becomes like a client thing, and then we got to work together, which isn't bad. Um, obviously, I like doing that. I have to open this again to get the right colors for my bulldog. She has a pink hat. She has like a nice tannish brown fur, like a like an English bull, but. Uh, Oh, somebody just tweeted out that I should help somebody on a illustration project. That's awesome. It's nice to be remembered when somebody says, hey, if you need an illustrator, so-and-so. I did that. Oh, okay, cool. Randomly. Uh, He's a good man. Um, yeah, thank you. That's not off topic. That doggo is a good man. Well, it's a female, but okay. Um, I'm just opening up the thing so I can actually get the color for her fur. So I'll drag her over and make make her the reference and then go. I made pearls. She like has pearls because she's such a... Um, where are you? Doo doo. Grace, that's what I call her. Whoops. Drag her over to here. Cool. Then I can close this monstrous file. I'll put her up here. So cute. So cute. Um... <clears throat> Cool. Let's do a, let's see, doing the, uh, I just think these, these lines are so much better. I did them in, uh, what do you call it? Procreate? What a dumb name for software, by the way, but I get it. Let me lock this. It's getting really warm in here, guys. Let's choose the mid-tone. This is how I start off all... Uh, just the really boring basing stuff. If I had money, I would hire people to do this part of my job for me. The kind of the basing is what I call it. I don't know if it's called basing. In comics, they called them flats. It's getting to that time of year where uh, 
get a little sweaty and your hand sticks to the freaking uh, tablet area. Going to go live. Go live. I do. I will have a great one. I'll see you around. Uh, make do with the rig as it is. Mm -hmm. The mouth is going to be hard to get right. <clears throat> the flats is usually what you hear artists call it stage. Yeah, this is the this is the boring stage. Have a good stream, Maxi. Do your thing. Uh, I am really in dire need of a bathroom break. But I get going and I'm like, I don't want to stop. Some days is better than others. Um, <clears throat> pink hat. Not pink cat. She has this rose, this rose on her hat that matches. That just make flying off as she's cruising. Probably one of the better action shots I've gotten out of the doggos. And of course, pearls are going to be like, I don't know, let's choose a, a yayish color for now. Actually, I should probably just do this with a brush of some kind. Brush. Yeah, this will be easier. Yeah, flatting is like something people actually do pay for a lot. So if you're a hungry college student, an art student, it's a great way to make some extra cash. You know, you put on a Netflix show and flat all this stuff for different digital artists. It takes it takes brain power. You know, you've got to be able to distinguish, you know, where this person's denim jeans ends and their blue t shirt begins. It's actually super important. Let's do this. Use the same pink for this tongue as I do for this tongue. Internal consistency is part of being a professional man. Professional men. Professional artist type. The boring. I wish I had a bulldog. That'd be my favoriteest dog ever. We had a bulldog once in a long lifetime ago. They're so chill, they're almost too chill. Do do. Let's do a brush is probably too big. When it's time to yeah, when it's time to shade, that's where the real fun starts. Probably need to zoom in a little bit more with this style. Because see how clubbed ends those are? They need to be more... Yeah, those are clubbed. They're not very crisp ends. So I'd like them to be more... Ugh. Okay, something's up. Yeah, it's a little bit better. I don't know what's going on there for a second. 
like my pen calibration went off, but this is why I want the new tablet. Because it shouldn't just do that. Oh yeah, this pen setting is like the best it's been in a long time. The heck? All I had to do was open a new, oops, except for when I do that and that. All I had to do was open a new document, fix it, and then go. I don't know why. <sighs> Stuff on my screen. Yeah, I gotta move all my Funkos into this room. It just feels very barren. It's sort of sad being on the other opposite end of the house from the boys, playing games you have to play uh, on Discord from across your own house feels weird. When Maddie comes home for break, I wonder how we're going to do it. There's going to be games we're going to play together. I don't know where she's going to set up. Make sure nobody's mm, redeemed a thing. Move over to this. I hate it when I miss that. Always makes me feel bad. Oh, and I just closed it. Eh. I can spell Twitch. Channel. Creator dashboard. Go bam. And... Come on now. Channel points. Make sure that this is open. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, good, 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 good. I had to refund one the other day because I totally missed it. I wasn't paying attention. Wish there was some kind of. Um, alert for that, you know, with the channel point redemption. I haven't found one yet. I was looking. I'm probably way too zoomed in for this to work. Let's back out. if you can hear that train and if it's not a train I'm going crazy I've got to do a voiceover on a video for my cards for my Kickstarter and I'm not looking forward to it I've written most of it but it just feels I don't know it's hard to promote yourself
I think that I have reached that point where I actually need to make some client contact. I just totally realized when I said, what did I say just a second ago? And now it sparked it in my brain. Hmm. This is, this is why I need to make better notes. I do have a Trello board that I reference. And it's been extremely useful to me. But I need to boogie and go do a thing. So thanks for hanging out, guys, on the different platforms, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook. I surely appreciate your support, the, the chatting you guys did, the lurking that you guys did. Uh, you're amazing. So I will talk to you soon, probably tomorrow. It'll be a good times. Yeah, I will. I will boogie. But it's the figurative boogie.